Hello everybody on YouTube, this is Brett. I've got a little tutorial on Coco Melon. I didn't even know about this character until a couple uh, days ago. I made it, real fun, real simple, so I thought I'd uh, put out a quick tutorial on it. All right, first thing I wanna do, I have, uh, I have a Blush 350. I got about a five, six finger tail. I'll come down here. Take about a four to five finger bubble, followed by a two finger bubble, or a pinch twist. And over right here, I'm gonna make another length to this size right here. I'm gonna let go of that. Do a two finger bubble here. And take a pinch twist there. I'm gonna pull this nozzle back down right here. We're just gonna wrap it in to it's this right here. Next, I'm gonna pull the 350 right here along this seam. And then one more time, I'm gonna pull it right here along the bottom of the seam. And all I'm doing here is I'm rolling the balloon away from me. And I'm rolling away from me. I'm rolling it through the ear and the motion is just gonna take it right around the ear. All right, next is the fun part. I'm gonna take right here and pop it. I'm gonna pop it low, closer to the face and try to save as much at top as I can. I wanna make sure I can save a little bit of the bubble here. And then saving that, we got about a two finger bubble. I'm gonna take that bubble and I'm gonna pinch twist it. Or no, we're taking them, we're tie it off. Give me a nose here. And then I'm gonna just look. I think right here, I think this is my best side for the front. So I'm gonna take the nose, I'm gonna just run it in between these two balloons. I'm gonna pull it down through the uh, bottom and just wrap it around one of the ears. We're going to actually use a little hair piece to connect it to the body. So there we go. The next thing, I've got a blood, I mean, I've got a yellow 160, and I've got it pre-inflated. I'm going to take this, I'm going to push as much of this air to the top of the balloon as I can. And I've got maybe two hand links here. I'm going to let the rest of that go and I'm going to break it off where I can keep as much of these two hand links as I can. And I know I need to stop doing that, but I forgot to bring scissors with me. So I'm going to take, tie that off. And I've got, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got this much of hair. I'm going to take, I'm going to make an S shape. I've got an S shape like this. I'm going to just kind of massage. This going to come right here, kind of massage. Kind of giving it like a little weird S curve. And this is going to be really long. But um, on the picture I made earlier, it's going to be shorter. And I'll post that picture with this. Just I think this will give you kind of a general idea of what I did. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it down through the top part of the head. Pull it in this way we have, and that's really long. Let's try to a little bit more of that in the face. That's gonna be better. So we're gonna take this. I'm gonna just wrap it in my hands and hold on to it for a minute. Or maybe better just set it aside. White 350. Five finger tail. I'm gonna make a two finger bubble. Followed by a second two finger bubble. I'm going to twist them together. I'm going to run the nozzle right around through the seam to kind of turn those two bubbles into a pinch twist. So now I'm going to take and make a thumbs up, kind of like a five finger link here. I'm going to pull this back up and I'm going to match this link right here with this. 
I'm gonna take, I'm gonna roll the little bubble, and twist it, going around the fish twist. And once I run it through the fish twist, and then we're gonna break off the rest of this. Sure. We're going to take this, the yellow part of the hair, we're going to tie it off, and we're going to go ahead and attach the head to the uh, shirt. If I tie this one sixty in, and don't worry, we're going to get the head to balance out a little bit better. So, Head's kind of struggling a little bit. All right, so here we go. Like I said, we're going to get this all to balance out in a minute. So next, I've got a blue 350, got about a five, six finger tail. We're not going to use the entire balloon. We'll take and make a two finger bubble and another two finger bubble. We'll take and we'll grab like so. We're just going to twist and we'll take, pull the nozzle, wrap it in between here, turn those two bubbles into pinch twist. And then we're going to make a four finger bubble. And we're going to wrap that in on the on my right, your left side of the doll here. All right. And then I'm going to make another. That three finger bubble here. And we'll make sure you get them about the same size. I got another three finger here. The three finger here. We'll make a two finger bubble. Another two finger bubble here. We we'll pull them together and twist them. And I'm going to run the whole 350 in between the seam here, causing those two bubbles to become pinch twist. Now we're gonna break off the rest of this blue. So here we go, and then I'm gonna fix the hair at the very end. Next, I have a yellow 260. I'm gonna take the 260. I've got about a five or six finger tail. Make two small bubbles here. the nozzle through, big twisting. Make a four finger bubble. First one, four, four, then I'll make a four finger bubble. Got a four finger bubble here. And then we'll make another. Small. And a Two-finger bubble, two-finger bubble, put together, just rolling the 260 through, and pop the yellow off, we're not using more of it. So here we go. And now I have my blush 260 here. About a five finger tail. I'm gonna take the nozzle, wrap it in the bottom of this pinch twist. And then I'm gonna make a, let's say a good four finger bubble, followed by a three finger flower petal. And then we'll make another three finger flower petal. Followed by one more, one more bubble here to match this one. We'll take it and we'll wrap it into these two things here. Then we're going to take and pop this off. Right, we'll use it. And what we have here. Is 
We got our dogs. And we got one more flush 260. Give our four finger tail. Make a three finger flower petal. Followed by a small two finger bubble that we're going to pinch twist. Followed by a four finger bubble. We're just going to roll into the pinch twist around the arms. We're going to pop this off, trying to save as much of this as we can. All right. Next, we're going to take, we'll do the same thing. We're going to make another bubble or another flower petal. We have about three fingers. We're going to make a small two finger bubble, a little pinch twist, and a four finger length for the arm so these two arms should match. Just gonna wrap it straight on in for those two pinch twists. So we're gonna pop this off. All and here we have our Coco Melon. I am gonna take this and we're gonna do this just another little massage. Tension on it. Give the, the hair a little bit of a crazy wave to it. All right, so next, I'm going to take right here, I'm going to just do a, another version of the face where. I'm going to draw two circles. My artwork is not the best. This. I'm going to draw three little circles. I'm going to color in white. There's one eye colored in. All right, I got the three circles on the other eye. I'm going to color in white. In a minute. All right, and then last, I'm going to draw two little lines like this, one on each side of the nose. Give them just a little bit of a smile. Then I'm going to color this part in black. go now finally I went end off this tutorial with my white Edin 750 I'm gonna come down here color the two teeth in I'm gonna come and color in the eyes next
my 750 is probably going out, but here we go. And this is the uh, Cocoa Melon Baby that I had made a few weeks ago, or last week. And right here, I've got one that's got uh, one kind of pistols that came on down for a foot. Um, I got here the bigger size legs. And that's how they would look at the bigger feet, the bigger legs, but the same size of arms, sleeves, and all. So here we go. This is the uh, cocoa melon kit, and uh, hopefully uh, y'all learn something, can use it maybe, or nothing else. Have fun with it, and until next time, I'll see ya.